Hi, today we'll talk about uh, one of the least talked about topics on Indian roads. That's road markings. We do see white and yellow lines marked on our roads and uh, we tend to ignore those. Uh, we just walk past or drive past those uh, most of the times. But those lines, the white and yellow ones, are there for some serious reasons. And if we understand the reasons, it will help us drive conveniently and safely. So let's dive into it. The road markings. Well, road without marking creates a lot of vehicular confusion. If we are marking on roads, it helps in managing the traffic issues by directing, guiding and regulating traffic, maintaining smooth flow of traffic, road safety, sometimes supplementing the road signs, providing important messages to drivers, providing information like where lanes are divided or where you may pass other vehicles, where you can take U-turns, where you cannot, where are the pedestrian walkways and where you must stop. Regulations for stopping or parking can be imposed using road markings. So all in all, these markings make our roads safer, fun to drive and more beautiful. So now let's look at some of the most commonly used road markings. The lane lines. The single broken center line says that it's a dual carriageway and drivers should overtake only with caution. The single solidly continuous line is also called as a barrier line and it guides drivers and says that you shouldn't overtake in most of the situations but in case of a U-turn, they can actually cross the line and take a U-turn. The double solid center line says that traffic in both directions should not cross the solid line on their sides. Overtaking is strictly prohibited in this case and uh, these lines are also used where visibility is restricted or if it's an accident prone area. The double solid continuous lines can both be yellow or white. It depends on the severity of the situation. As I said, if it's a white one, then you can cross it in several situations like a U-turn, but in case of yellow, you should never. And if it's a combination of broken and continuous lines, then if you are on the solid line, that's continuous line, you shouldn't overtake. And if you are on the broken line side, then you can overtake using caution. So in a nutshell, the broken lines are used for lane discipline, and the solid lines should actually be considered as walls or dividers on the road and they should never be touched or crossed. These are stop lines. It's a line that's painted before intersection and it denotes where you should stop in case of officer stops you or the traffic lights. The giveaway line. It's a double dotted line marked at junctions. It's accompanied by a reverse triangle before the intersection and it says you should give way to the traffic on the main road. The border edge lines, these are the continuous lines which are marked right at the edge of our highways and they tell the drivers the limits till which they can safely venture and in case of an unavoidable stop on a highway, these lines can be used to understand beyond which point your vehicle should be parked. The yellow box junction, these are the yellow cross diagonal lines marked inside a box. They normally uh, are marked at the center of an intersection. The vehicle should enter this yellow box only in case they have clear space for the vehicles beyond the box. And in this marked area, vehicles should not cross even briefly. The pedestrian crossings. These are also called as zebra crossings. These are black and white strips painted parallel to the road. Pedestrians must cross the road using these zebra crossings and when signal permits them to do so. But as a vehicle driver, it's your duty to always stop for pedestrians if there is one crossing the road. So the pedestrian crossings are there to denote right of the way for the pedestrians. And there are some really interesting innovations happening even in the case of road markings. You may have seen the noise creating rumblers on roads. These rumblers help in waking up a driver in case he is falling asleep on the wheel. There are some mechanical devices uh, which are either reflective or non-reflective. They are also being used on roads these days, like these ones. The thermoplastic road markings have arrived as well. And you may have seen these 3D zebra crossings, uh, which was an innovation by two Indian women, which gives drivers an illusion of a blockage and makes them stop. The road markings are there to help us and to make our rides safer. So I would like to request you guys to keep an eye on these road markings when you hit the road the next time. And if you see any unknown ones, please understand and explore why those are installed. And let me know as well by adding comments to this video. If you found this video helpful, 
Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.